Cabinet is looking to make the investigation center set up to probe corruption permanent. The fusion center was established last month to investigate graft linked to COVID-19 tenders. Now, Cabinet says it uh, may be made permanent after more consultations. Justice Minister Ronald Lamula made the announcement yesterday. It's clear that as a country, uh, we need a permanent structure like the fusion center. So that is what cabinet will also look into, that that fusion center is very important in our fight against corruption as we move forward. How do we then locate it and it grows, as it grows organically, how do we give it a legislative framework and a legislative guidance that will enable it to function with a clear uh, line of command? And those are issues that um, we will still iron out in terms of the line of command, where will they, how will they be located, and so forth. But that is the responsibility that cabinet is still looking into. We are not ready now to say this is what is going to look like, uh, this elephant. But uh, it's something that uh, we want to allow that fusion center to grow organically, and then uh, we will enable it in terms of legislation to give it a proper umbrella that will then clothe it and enable it to function with a proper uh, legislative uh, framework. Lamula also says people with the evidence of interference in law enforcement should come forward and report it. He was responding to ANC Secretary General Ace Makhashule's statement that uh, law enforcement agencies are being compromised and used to fight internal ANC battles. Makhashule says his ev he has evidence. Lamula says South Africans are tired of conspiracies and if Makhashule has proof, he must bring it forward. I think uh, South Africa is tired of conspiracies. We have uh, moved beyond conspiracy. We need facts, we need evidence on the table. So if the Secretary General has indeed said that, he must provide that evidence, and that evidence must be scrutinized, and whoever is interfering with, uh, with the law enforcement agencies uh, must be arrested, because uh, in terms of the NPA Act, you know, Vuyo, it is a crime to, to interfere with the law enforcement agency, to interfere with the national prosecuting authorities uh, independence uh, powers to prosecute. It's a serious, serious crime. And whoever did that must be brought to book. So the SG must give us that evidence. And uh, this is a very serious crime if there is indeed such kind of an intervention so that the, 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 the law enforcement agencies must investigate and then the NPA must decide whether to prosecute or not. Because when the NPA Act was drafted, such things... Uh, we also had in mind, hence it was put there, that to interfere with the independency of the NPA is a serious, serious crime for you, and it must be dealt with. We cannot continue uh, people uh, raising issues and so forth and not bringing the evidence in front. So the SG must bring the evidence, that evidence must be scrutinized, and it must be dealt with by the law enforcement agency. We can't continue to throw mind and conspiracies. I think we need facts and we must deal with real science.